February 21, 2023. Marcus Giovanni here. Marcus Giovanni to the Denver. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Marcus Giovanni to the Denver Gazette. GP7A is the leading news organic source. And, you know, when you think about how these people are from Col Colorado Springs and they're going to come in and start dictating and sharing all the authors, you don't know who's on who, Colorado Politics, Colorado Sun, Denver Ride, Colorado Public Radio, they're all indexed and they're all headed to the darkest place on the internet, man. So here's their ad, Denver Gazette's Denver's leading local news, yeah, okay. They got to pay for that shit. And see, what happens when they pay for ads? It brings up the ads that, the content that really is truly leading, that is truly organic. Not, you choose reliable local journalism. <laughs> Denver Gazette, they're called the Gazette, they, all kinds of things. They, their writers write on uh, Colorado politics, Denver write, no, they don't do Denver write. Maybe they do, Denver Gazette, the number one source news happening in Denver. Yeah, and they're in Colorado Springs. Here comes the truth. Right there, Kelly Bro. She's the biggest turd water of all the candidates. And then Leslie Harrod, and then Lisa Calderon, and then Mike um, Johnston, and then Chris Hansen, all of them. Especially Ian Tafoya. You guys are going to index your city to the darkest fucking hole you could ever imagine on the internet. But in, your, in the mortal world, you can keep up your bullshit. But you see what's missing out of all these conversations? Moi. Moi, moi, moi. But that's okay. Because this is how Gazette. See? Gazette is the Colorado's most trusted. Okay, that that's owned by the Denver Gazette. Do you see how they do it? Oh, here it is. Denver leading local organic news source, 2007. That's a long time, man. To have an organic content with really no true editor, but but I'm kicking ass. And you would think people would be knocking on my door wanting to say, hey, dude, let me buy this. This is great that you can do. No, see, what they're doing is they're, they're, they're ignoring and trying to uh, use wokeness. And I'm ready because all these administrators, ground.news, fuck is that? LinkedIn, she's done. See, Colorado Springs, get the fuck out of Denver, man. That's it. That's what they're worth right there. And then we're going to go over here and look at this. This was I, the number of valid signatures, 100, 260. I was 40 short. So they're saying that they rejected 123 when I stood outside King Super Supermarkets. And I asked everybody, are you a registered voter in Denver? And you look at my registration, not what they put out, but what I handed in. Okay, and then they have a number of excluded signatures, zero. Well, how do you reject signatures and then total number of excluded signatures, zero? I don't get it. See, nobody, nobody asks the tough questions, man. This guy here, I sued him and he was in court. What a, what a, what a lonely looking, miserable man. Just miserable, but that's okay, because Todd's now part of the system. Here's the lawsuit, and, and what you can do is you can pause it and read it as you go, but I did serve them. They, I didn't do the certificate, and I'll show you that later on in this form. So here it is. I filed on January 30th, because I knew, folks... <laughs> I knew when I saw the 123 and I was 40 short, and you're telling me 123 people illegally signed a petition, wouldn't that spark outrage for the Denver uh, Elections Division and their, and their wokeness and, and, their, and their, their bullshit, man? They're the most bullshit, and this is what I had to do. I had to get it in here. I could have went and, and got me a thousand signatures and they still would have just held on to them like they did the curing process of many of the candidates and some got them in three days they were they were validated. That's because they use voter rolls. But anyway, so what I had to do is when you think about 
you can stop the video and read what I wrote. Now, I'm not an attorney, but when you can't get attorneys to represent you with true legal issues that are bogging down and going to destroy Denver in regards to their decisions on how they vote and what they do and how they do it. You know, three three elections in a row, I had 124 invalid in, in uh, 2011. I had 124 invalid in 2019, and now 2023, I had 123 invalid. It would have been 124, but they caught it. And then they, instead of doing 125, because that just seems too crazy, you got 125, oh, just do 123. And that's how this whole thing goes. That's why Andy was the first guy to come out and say, hey, I'll be the first GOP. Now, here it is. When you think about the Spear Amendment and how over the 12 years, nobody talked about it, only me and my, and my uh, constituents. And uh, when you think about that, we had nobody either confirm it or deny it. They didn't say anything, and that's the best way to fight everything. But see, they're fighting their own, you know, Fayback versus Beck. You know, we have a right to petition. It's a fundamental right under the Colorado Constitution, which should be liberally construed. And what they do is, they just said 123, so why not go arrest those people or bring them up on charges or something for filing? I didn't, I, I did all the right things. I did it every time. I've had all the right signatures. And they want the Denver citizens to make them believe that um, another 123 people illegally signed. See, that the petition is, is our constitutional right. They should protect it, and they don't. This is how all these Democrats ended up on the ballot. And this is how, when, when I get down to the lower part of all this stuff, you'll be able to know that what they're doing is just bad. And... I had the signatures, folks. And then here's my petition furthers with my my request in my own words. Now here's the very number one thing. I wasn't thinking about me. I wasn't thinking about anybody. Except the order to reinstate Denver City Charter known as Spear Amendment signed on May 17, 1916 by Honorable Mayor Robert W. Spear who died in office in 2018 with the 100 year flu. And here we are. What happened in 2019? That's when the when the uh, COVID started, but they didn't pick up on it until after January 2022. I know because I had COVID. I got it when I was filming Gonna Go to the Super Bowl music video. Look it up. I was wearing a mask too. Something told me I've been wearing a, I wore a mask before anybody else. Because I knew something was up. I was like, wow, something's up. And I get these feelings. And anyways, believe it or not. So as you scroll down, and then that's sad. Because what happened now, let me finish this. What happened was when city, when I told the judge, who's supposed to be a, oh, I, look him up, man. But it, it's sad. Because I asked the judge to help with the litigation. And he did for the city of Denver. And the city of Denver's attorney, Michelle Horn, she said to the court, we haven't enforced that law in years. Oh, okay, so that, is, that holds my argument that they've um, perpetrated and manipulated and circumvented and just didn't follow laws that would deem them illegitimate. And they're illegitimate now because she said it. So all my whole 12 years, it took me 12 years to get to this court to have them say that. And all of our media didn't say a fucking thing. And they've all been indexed, every single one of them. And artificial intelligence is going to go after them. And they're going to go after their money because that's what it does. It goes after their money first and then their social channel. See, I know because I helped build it. It's all legal too, man. We're just using their words and their actions in regards to the betterment of whatever it is we're fighting for. And so when you understand how all this stuff works, the e-sign verification system, you'd think the media would be all over that when I sued them in 2019 because out of 99 candidates, Marcus Giovanni was the only one that didn't work. Just like out of all the candidates 
well-known candidates and all the ones the ones that didn't make it on the ballot because of signatures I was I was another one but I had the signatures folks that's why you have to write my name in the old-fashioned way that's what we used to do we'd write names in and um, you can just stop the video and pause it and read it and do your thing but the e sign verification system right here they didn't use it because I saved the day and the citizens of Denver have no fucking clue because our media is so far up these people's ass. They're tasting their poo-poo. They got poo-poo all over their lips and their stink of shit. And so here it is, folks. I handed hand-delivered to the mayor's office because I did go to the clerk and they told me to go to the mayor's office. Well, my order said, go serve the defendant. So I went to the clerk and recorder and this guy named Hughes... Um, uh, came in and um, this was the second time I did it because I, I didn't I served the mayor's office they told me I had to serve the mayor's office and you know I wrote an email to the judge and they never answered me that's how I knew that's how I knew that they didn't that, that this whole thing was against me but it's not against me it's against the citizens of Denver it's against their social standings I've been writing about social standings for since 1996 in a book I wrote on racial and criminal profiling but this is it folks and when you think about Denver all the news sources in Denver and their partners in the FCC regulated stations and all those hosts that are talking we're now indexed by all of our fucking voices and we have crosstalk indexing, which means your voices are picked up on other people's phones. Why? To give you better understanding of ads and where you're at and who is there. And you won't know none of this. And your Bluetooth screening, you know what that is? Find out what Bluetooth is when they screen and turn on and look for other apps. You can you can go on Bluetooth and scan for, for other uh, Bluetooths that are open. And that's how they get everybody in one location in order to verify what what was going on at that particular time using GPS, cell phone tower pings, and the verified voices of those in that location, time. And when you're in a court, that's the highest location that you can be, period. And then when they're all in court and they're all talking, see, that's what I did. I needed them to admit that the spearmint amendment existed up to this point we they didn't but now city attorney uh michelle horn her career is over she don't know it yet and it's sad but when she said that she blew it off you should have seen her face when she said it and lectured me i should know um how i've been running so many times i should know that the sig you know bullshit stuff and her bullshit's going to catch her and her career and all her money and anybody connected to her. That is the wormhole 2023. For the betterment of our community, for the betterment of YouTube, for the betterment of Google, and just for the betterment of keeping bullshit, fake people out of our government, out of our city. And they're going to vote for it and they're going to vote Denver into an illegitimate government, folks. How do you like that, Denver Gazette? You tools, your administrators are fucked.